We are now here today and I have a very special guest with me and I know you'll go, you're going to learn a lot from him. Our guest for today is William Bayot, who is a very successful businessman and is also the vice president of Kite Foundation, which we'll be talking about today. So, uh, William, uh, greet our listeners and uh, those watching. Hello, the welcome to the YouTube and the podcast channel of Pastor Dennis. Act like a man. Ayun. So, dahil act like a man to, lalaki talaga yes. ang mga guests natin. No? <laughs> and uh, maybe, William, uh, share a little bit of your background. What do you do and who you are? Hmm. Uh, I'm currently connected with Uniwin Computer Stable. Uh, what we're doing is labels, shirt labels, more or less in the garment industry. Okay. And we also have uh, Uniwin Multiprinting, which uh, provides any printing jobs. So, uh, technically, it's more on the garment industry. Okay. Yes. So, pagtatakbo ako sa election, pwede ako Yes, pwede. Sa'yo. Pwede, pwede. Yeah. Huwag niyo pong kalimutan, Dennis C. sa 2020. <laughs> Tama. Ayan. So, uh, so, you're in that business. And um, I was just curious. Now, I've, I've known you for many years yes. already. And I think the first time na talaga nag-meet tayo was when you invited me to... To Heart uh, Center. To the Heart Center dahil gumawa ka ng isang kiddie Christmas. party. A Christmas party. Christmas no? party. It's a Christmas uh, party for cancer kids and that's where I was made aware yes. of the plight of many of our Filipino children and um, uh, as what I said no uh, vice president ka ng Kite, Kite Foundation, Foundation. Yes. maybe before we jump on to what Kite Foundation is how did you as a businessman how did you become very active in social work actually it all started uh, actually family background in mm. uh, I have a sister Okay. who died six years old due to brain tumor. Hindi okay. uh, pa pinapanganak nun eh. Pero I always, uh, tos, uh, I have two brothers. So, always wish ko sana may sister ako. Mm. So, parang nakikita ko yung pain ng parents ko kahit na after so many years, yeah. nakikita ko pa rin yung pain. Then, syempre, nagkaroon ako ng kids. Okay. Uh, so, you're married, how many kids? Yeah, do you? I have two kids. Okay. So, both kids ko uh, were born preterm. Mm. So, medyo at that time, young. So, parang inisip ko lang na parang preterm. Yung una, preterm. So, pangalawa, preterm. Wala lang. Pero, Alam mo, normal lang. Yes. So, para, pero nun the second one, <coughs> parang yung mga nurse na lang. So, ang doctor sagsabi na, medyo critical yun. It's na medyo delikado yun. Pero both kids naman, uh, walang incubator. Next day, labas. Parang walang walang ano, hindi tulad ng mga nag-incubator one month, parang walang gano'n na yeah. na-fail. So, parang medyo, tinitingnan ko lang, parang uh, hindi ko nagawa to. It's mm. more on somebody na helping me from yeah. above. Yun. Parang yung fate na, fate na lang talaga siya eh. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting, no? I think I also read in one of the books na marami talaga mga tao, they do something for the world. It's because of a painful past yes. that they've turned into something. And uh, hearing your story, you no, know, it's like you've turned your pain into something very uh, purposeful. No? Parang part is pain first do sa sister ko. Mm-hmm. Tap, uh, I was made aware since grade school na pumunta ako ng mga social work sa church. Okay. Na nakikita ko talaga na so may exposure ka rin in, yes, in some uh, way kasi yung mom ko was very active both parents ko were active in church okay. and my mom was handling social welfare mm. so nakikita ko rin na paano gipit yung budget pero yeah. uh, other than yung budget ng church for the social welfare yung budget na for family dinadagdag pa niya mm. parang gipit na tayo eh. yeah. parang ganun pero okay. wala ako nakikita na parang uh, hindi ko na feel on my part na parang ay dapat akin yun yeah so very crucial no I think the role of the parents yes. uh, you being a dad you exposing your kids to what you do now mm. you being exposed early on na uh, tumutulong kayo I think that that played yes. a part in what you're doing now helping hundreds literally hundreds literally or thousands hundreds. of kids now through the work that you're doing oo uh, malaking ano yun eh uh, parang eye opener din tapos at the same time uh, yung stage na yun, parang walang transition. Mm. Walang big transition na I have to adjust. Wala eh. Parang, nung dumating yung chance na I can help, mm. parang, hindi ko man lang ininda na parang I have to spend. Yeah. More on, priority ko pa. Yeah. Over yung sarili kong parang luho, parang gano'n. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, siguro madami kasing mga negosyante. There's a lot of business people, people who have a lot of money. Mm. And uh, they don't, do things 
for others. No? And I, I see you and I see something different. No? And, and you talking about the pain, you talking about your exposure. But what made that become your philosophy in life? Uh, partly because it's more on, uh, I have a rule in giving. Mm. Uh, any, for every peso, may tithing talaga ako. Mm. 10%. So you give 10%? Yes. Talaga. So, hindi ko naman yung buong 10% ubusin. Kagad. Mm. Uh, kapag may need, uh, may kailangan, may emergency, uh, parang utang ko sa Diyos to eh. mm-hmm. So, hindi ko ginagalaw yan. Yeah. So, any given time na may emergency, kailangan ng money for the for certain cost, doon ko kinukuha. Okay. Pero nakalikst tayo. Check and balance yun na. So, uh, for every income, automatic, mayroon lumalabas doon sa kabilang side na mayroon yeah. akong for charity. Mm. So, parang partly inaano ko lang na hindi akin to. Yeah. So, hindi ko siya pwedeng galawin. So, parang nasa system mo na siya, no? Yes. Uh, so, parang nakita ko kasi siya, eh. Noong una is medyo uh, parang first time na ganun, pumapasok income. We started uh, talagang hard work din naman. Hindi naman yung, mm. hindi naman ako nagmana ng business or what, eh. Yeah. We started from scratch and all. Then, so that's your business, yung kanina uh, This one about. is, uh, until nung nasettle ko na, yung sarili ko na, confident na ako na, proven myself. Yeah. Then, tsaka ko palang inaccept yung role ko sa part family business. Yeah. This one. Okay. So, nun una na kumuha ko ng income, tapos nakita ko yung charity shit mm. na may this amount. So, to the point na parang umabot ng 100,000, parang, oops, medyo malaki yun ah. Pero, yung 100,000 na pumasok, nakita ko na yung ilan folds bumalik naman. Wow. Oh. Mas parang ako, parang, hindi, hindi ko, hindi ko galing to eh. Parang, but mm. biglang ganun. Yeah. So, parang through the years, uh, then nakikita ko na, na may namumove yung yeah. life ko, yung ginagawa ko. So, kaya parang hindi nang, hindi naging mahirap yung transition. Yeah. Because of the upbringing. Yes. Oh. Uh, parang may recent research na nagsasabi, no, most major companies now, they actually set aside CSR. Yeah, yes. a certain percentage of their income to give to the poor, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. For, to help charity, social work. Yeah. Ano tawag doon yung... Parang CSR nila. Ah, yeah. CSR nila. I mean, community... Community service. service. Yeah. Have something. <laughs> Recreation. <Yeah. laughs> CSR, no? Yeah. Uh, we have to understand that giving kasi doesn't start when you're a millionaire already or it started when you were yes, starting yes, out yes. in business na yes. wala pa masyadong kita. Parang minsan then, kasi it started out as uh, dati kasi parang 100 peso is big amount. Mm. Parang magkano lang yung alawan. So, uh-huh. keep in mind lang na una, aaray ka lang na eh, few times. Pero, yeah. aaray, <laughs> aaray ka talaga eh. Kasi, Umaray ka na ba? Oh, oh. Kasi nagtitipid ka sa yes. sarili mo. Uh-huh. Gusto kong bilhin. Tapos yung kita mo yung amount ng binibigay mo is way over pa yung gusto mong bilhin na something yes. for yourself. Pero at the end of the day is parang for a bigger cost. Mm. Parang inisip mo na lang na parang may mata naman ng Diyos. Club yeah, yeah. Yan. Oh, yan na lang ang inano ko. Hindi yeah. na lang hanggang masasanay ka lang through the years na hindi mo ipapriority sarili mo. Yeah. Na uh, sa kids mo sa family mo galante ka pero sa sarili mo okay lang to yeah. Pang, parang pag something na for yourself ilang beses mo isipin mm. tapos okay lang tapos naging philosophy mo na parang okay lang di ko nabili yan mm. at least alam ko kaya kong bilhin so kahit yeah. di ko bilhin parang ganun lang yung parang palusot mo na lang sa sarili yeah. mo or kapag may gusto kong bilhin something sasabi mo na sa sarili mo na wala na ako pang bili dinonate ko na di ba yeah. so parang yeah. ano lang yeah, I think yung philosophy lang of living for others. And, and I see that in you, no? Nagkaroon ka kasi ng awareness. Hmm. When you start seeing, kasi, and I encourage you guys, if meron pong mga events ang Kite Foundation, pag umaten kayo dyan, magbabago perspective ng yes, buhay mo eh. Sobra. Especially seeing a lot of these cancer kids. Para makita mo, grabe, ang yaman ko pala, no? Compared hmm. to what the plight that they go through every day. Parang, lagi natin sinasabi na parang, ang laki ng pinagdadaanan natin. Hmm na considering ang involved lang naman doon is either money yeah. or may, may issues ka lang sa sarili mo or love pero kung, life oo, pero pag landun ka sa hospital nakikita mo yung mga batang tumatakbo mm-hmm. now you see me now you don't yeah. kung baga, what, what do you mean now you see me now you don't uh, may chance kasi na minsan may event tapos may kita mo yung bata na kuya thank you sir thank you tapos next week you got news that nawala na yung kid mm-hmm. kung baga, ano na pala may taning na pala yeah. siya pero 
pop the way na magpakita siya parang wala lang mm. yung parang sesya niya tapos ikaw parang late date bagay iyak ka ng iyak ganun yeah. tapos sila parang okay na okay Okay, punta tayo doon sa foundation, William. Yes. Uh, you are the vice president of Kite, Kite Foundation. Foundation. What's what's Kite Foundation? Uh, Kite Foundation is more or less, uh, we provide psychosocial help. Mm-hmm. Psychosocial help sa mga kids. What's a psychosocial? Uh, psychosocial, we help them, parang kasi kapag landyan na yung nalaman ng kids na may cancer siya. Mm-hmm. So what we do is, we try to talk to them. Uh, we talk to them, explain to them, be with them during the procedure, explain yeah. to them anong ginagawa sa procedure. Uh, we lend a uh, helping hand inside the procedure room. Okay. We also help them financially through the medicines. Uh, then at the same time, tinutulungan din namin yung parents how to cope with the situation. So para siyang uh, support group community siya. Yes, pero it started out as a support group. Pero right now we also help in the financial side, okay. uh, the milk program. We also help them buy medicines at a cheaper price. Mm. We get fundings. Uh, parang lumalabas is kami na bibili ng gamot kung niman lang sa amin. Okay. Kasi sobrang mahal yung gamot. Yeah. Or yung gamot na yon is uh, hihingi kami ng funding sa iba. So usually, sino ang mga beneficiary ng Kite Foundation? Ang Kite Foundation is catering to cancer kids and other... Like colon- how old ang uh, cancer kids? No, it's... Uh, mayroon ako isang case na na-handle is si Sira AJ. Wow. 10 days old. Literally, 10 days old. Ano yun? By birth, may cancer yes, siya? Yes, may cancer siya. So, they went to a uh, private hospital. Ang ginawa ng private hospital, ikikimo. Hmm. Yun yung sabi. So, parang pinahold namin sandali. Nung tinawag sa akin yung case, tapos parang sabi ko, in, parang sabi ng doctors natin na parang hindi pwedeng chemo yan. It's too small, too young. Once na hinawakan na chemo yan, on the spot, mawawala si baby. So, nakiusap. So, we, dinala namin siya sa uh, one of our partner hospitals, hmm. Philippine Children Medical. Okay. Tapos from there, nalaman naman na hindi pwede. So, minimal chemo, uh, so, for sure naman na mawawala yung kid. Uh, sa private hospital, binigay siya a month. Mm. So, dito naman, parang na-extend ko lang yung life nung kid to six months. Eh, hindi ko na sabi na success stories, pero uh, at least nakasama niya yung, yung kid yeah. for six months. Kasi, uh, kid was three to four years in the making eh. Mm. Tapos, paglabas pa oh, oh, may cancer pa. So, parang, ang bigat-bigat na ng loob ng parents. Yeah. Tapos, for sure yan, uh, magulo yung isip nila. Mm. Uh, we find parents who will help them uh, to find funding. Say, kunyari sa PCSO, papano proseso, papano kumuha na funding. Tapos, there are some naman nagtuturo sa kanila how to deal with uh, papano mag-adjust ng schedules. Yeah. Uh, yun, kung ano mga basic needs. Tapos kami naman, in-explain namin sa, sa mga parents din how to cope, yeah. uh, ano mga usual reaction after the chemotherapy. Mm. Even yung mga, ano natin, mga coordinators natin, nasa loob, tumutulong, kasi nga, we have to consider public hospital siya. Okay. So, underman din. Mm. So, staff natin, pumapasok, tumutulong sa chemo, para mas kampante lang kid na, kakilala ko siya eh. Mm. Yun, hawakan siya, sasamahan siya, yun. Parang, uh, mapaalala nyo sa kid na anong pinagpraktisan natin kanina. Yeah. Yan, yung mangyayari. Okay. Yun. So, hindi kayo sa medical side, kayo sa emotional, sa financial side. Yes. Yeah. Tama. More, so, more yeah. psychosocial kami. Yan. Yeah. Oo. Kasi baka may mga mag-comment ah, dito wala. na Oo. dapat ganito, dapat ah. ganito ginawa nyo. A kite <laughs> is actually just emotional, financial, financial. it's a support. Yes, yeah, support to... system kami. Okay. Parang psychosocial needs. Okay. Ng both kids and parents. Tanong ko lang, William, I don't know if somebody has asked this to you already. You know, you see kids with cancer. And maybe people would ask, I don't know kung may nagtanong na sa'yo, asaan si God dito? Bakit may cancer yung bata? Yes. Anong sagot mo sa mga ganon? Like, you're there, you're in the field, you're getting your feet wet and dirty among the... Wala, parang minsan, parang gusto mo lang sabihin sa kanila na parang, if you want to help, di ba? Parang, maybe, ikaw yung daan ni God para mm. matouch, ma-move yung life ng mga kids. Yeah. Hindi naman pwede yun, wala kang ginagawa. Tapos mm. sinasabi mo, sinisisi mo kay God na in the first place, hindi ka nga involve eh. Mm. Naawa ka lang, nag-criticize ka pa. Mm-hmm. So parang why not na you do your part? Yeah. Kaya like ko rin sinasabi, uh, hindi lahat pera. Mm. Like, bedside. Yeah. 
we create events na bedside lang, umupo lang, color, oh. sing with them, parang listen to their stories. Mm. Ibang-iba ang situation ng public hospitals mm. sa private. Yeah. So, pag nai-imagine natin na ang nandun tayo sa private hospitals, yung kids, parang inis-inis ka na, parang germs, por virus yan. Yeah. Imagine mo a room na 30 to 40 kids. Oh, man. Lahat vi- may ma-viral pa, tabi-tabi kayo. Yeah. Tapos may ma-cancer, may nagsasali ng dugo. So, parang halo-halo na yan. Yeah. Ibang-iba ang environment. Like, may makikita ng uh, hospital bed. Nasa hallway. Mm. Walang ventilation. Kasi puno na yung hospital eh. Yeah. Ibang-iba talaga. So, parang, you know, you're breaking my mindset sometimes of to help, I give money. Mm. Pero sa atin kasi, it's, minsan kasi parang wala kang pera, hindi na tutulong. Mm. Tapos, hindi yun eh. Wala kang pera, you can help by spreading the news about mm. the foundation, its advocacy, yeah. or my other means naman eh, like, you can help us kahit social media. Mm. Uh, social media plays a big role uh, past three years ng Kite Foundation. Uh, before kasi, we get uh, funding through letters, traditional way. Yeah. Uh, talagang susulatan, papaliwanag, unahan sa budget mm. ng company. Mm. But three years ago, we st- uh, we try to move. Kasi uh, technically, the whole foundation, we are handling, uh, if I'm not mistaken, around eight hospitals. Okay. We have Cebu, Dabao, uh, Tarlac, and Manila. But total namin na staff namin is 20. Wow. So, lang. yes. So, meron kaming accounting, isa. Uh, sa child life, isa. Meron kami social worker, isa. May communications, isa. Partner relation, isa. Kumbaga, uh, one-man team mm. ng buong department. <laughs> Tapos, syempre, uh, hindi naman tayo pwedeng, aminin natin, yung budget sa salaries. Hindi yeah. naman yung... Hindi kayo yaman. Yes. Come more on... Ministry talaga to. Yes. Parang tulong talaga to. Oo, talagang partly may halong konsensya na parang for the kids. Yeah. Minsan, lalapit kami sa corporation, hingin kami ng... Lapit kami sa individual. <coughs> hingin kami ng tulong. Mm. We end up sasabihin lang sa amin nung tao na, hindi naman gagaling yun eh. Bakit pa natin tutulungan? Yeah. Parang minsan, uh, nakabreak din ng heart. Nung mm. tao na... Alam mo yun, nasa peak ka, yeah. na game na game kang tumulong. Tapos biglang, parang binusa ka ng malamig ng tubig. Yeah. Tapos parang, hindi naman to yung sakit na porket mayaman ka, lamang ka. Hindi eh. <laughs> Pantay-pantay kayo. Yes. Ba? Pag tinamaan ka na itong sakit na to, mm. kakailanganin mo kami sa kite for the psychosocial. Kasi mayaman ka o mahirap ka, yung child life program ng kite, ang kite, kasi nire-require na ngayon sa hospitals, pediatric, na if any hospital is handling cancer, kailangan may child life program. Okay. At Kite Foundation is the only found organization na certified child life program na may so, child Pilipinas. life program. Yes. So, wow. kami ang nag-train okay. ngayon ng other hospitals. So, in short, pasok kayo sa lahat ng hospital kung yes. kaya. Yes. Kung yeah. baga, mabigyan lang kami ng playroom. Mm. Kasi ang ideas natin is learn, play, grow. Okay. okay. We teach the kids about the situation, good morals, then, true play. Okay. Laging play. Kaya, in every hospitals, we create playrooms. Bago kay chemo, play ka muna. Mm. Pasok ka ng chemo room. Paglabas mo, uh, not feeling well ka, play. Tapos through play, nalilimutan mo yung pain kahit for an hour. Yeah. Parang uh, meron ng someone na uh, not feeling well. Mm. Pinakinggan mo lang stories for an hour. Mm. Nakakatulong. Yeah. Ito rin sa kids. Yeah. Nakakatulong din siya. Tapos at the same time, go-grow sila as an individual, as a person. Parang ganyan yung ano natin. Alright, if if somebody wants to volunteer for kite, pwede naman. Anong ginagawa ng isang volunteer ng kite? Usually, volunteer ng kite is pumunta siya sa mga hospitals, okay. uh, nagbe-bedside sa mga kids. Uh, mayroong program kasi. Mm. Minsan, sinasamaan sila sa playroom. So, may orientation yan? Yes, as a may volunteer. orientation okay. yan. Kasi, unlike normal kids na uh, orphan sa street children, ibang-iba yon sa kids na may sakit. Uh, one of our events last Christmas, so, yung bata talagang dahil kakalabas lang yung chemo, in-insist niya mag-attend 
Siguro sa so much, sobrang pain. As in, nunod siya ng magic show. Tapos, takbo siya sa corner. Tapos parang mag-vomit siya. Parang ganun eh. Tapos babalik siya ulit, manunod. Parang kahit na saglit lang, malimutan ko yung yeah. pain. Yeah. Kaya parang uh, the main, parang to summarize it all, yeah. we just try to make room for happiness. Yeah. Kahit any given chance na pwede yes. namin bigay. To lessen the pain, of yeah. course. Sobra ako thankful sa mga tulad mo. Ako. Saka sa mga volunteers <laughs> ng kahit. Yes. Uh, where it's not just about the money, but really going there, being there. Yes. I think, iba pa rin, no? If you go to the ground and you see the pain. Ibang iba talaga. You see the siya. suffering happening. And it gives you purpose, eh. No? Parang, like I said before, di ba? Parang kunyari, stress day. So work. Sobrang mm. drain na. Mm. The drop by ako sa hospital. Mm. Ikot ako. Titignan ko lang mga kids. So, parang, hi kuya, ganun. Alam mo yun, Parang sila yung masaya. Parang doktor na nag-around. Oo, oh, oh, nag oh. <laughs> Pero, hindi, hindi yung ako yung tumutulong. Mm. Pero ako natutulungan. Yeah. And, minsan kasi mindset kasi natin na parang, ako sponsor eh. Mm. Susundin yung gusto ko. Hindi. Pero pag landun ka, sasabihin mo na ikaw yung bless. Yeah. Ikaw yung tinutulungan ng kids. Yeah. Tapos minsan mga kids pa nga parang, kaya natin yan kuya. Mm. <laughs> parang baliktad. Hindi ba? Like yung event na landyan ka, di ba? Uh-huh. Mayroon sang kid na parang, oh, but parang mas lumit na yung chan mo ngayon compared before. Mm. Tapos in-explain niya parang, in-injection ako, ay, may pinasok si Doc eh, sa tummy ko. Tapos, medyo tinanggal yung mga fluids. So, masakit ba? Hindi. Matapang to eh. Parang, alam mo, doon mo nakikita na uh, nag, ano, nagkaroon ng effect na yung mm. psychosocial mo sa kanya na parang, kung gusto mong sumama, kunyari, ng summer camp ng kahit. Yeah. Kung gusto mong sumama ng camp, magsasalin ka ng dugo. Ooh. Susunod ka. <laughs> Susunod ka sa lahat. Game sila kasi, that's a three days. Walang yeah. parents. Yeah. So, it's a fun day. So, meron silang nililook forward yearly. Yes. Tapos kami naman sa foundation is, taon-taon namin pinaproblema yun. Mm. Saan namin kukunin yung budget. Yeah. Nililook forward nila something na wala pa naman kaming ganun amount yeah. na hawak. Oh, so sa mga nanonood, if you're watching and you want to donate to Kai Foundation, we'll give you the link below para maklik nyo yan. Yes, uh, later, please. we'll tell you how to donate to Kai Foundation. Uh, speaking of donations, no, I know you need a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Meron po tayong mga caps dito. What, what is this cap? Uh, these caps are, uh, we call it a caps of courage. Uh, it's a collaboration with the Perfect White Shirt. Uh, they produce the designs. Tapos, I produce this. The caps are The designs uh, heal, change, preserve. These are all weave. Well, we're selling it at $4.99 each. And 100% of the proceeds goes to cancer kids. Okay. To in helping them through transportation or any of our program. Na mag-fit doon. Okay. Kaya parang so, paano, kaya, paano, to, paano to nakukuha? Uh, this, uh, it's uh, available online through Facebook. Okay. Uh, Kite, Kite, K-Y-T-H-E, Kite Inc. That's our Instagram account is Kite Foundation. Okay. Meron ba ito siya Shopee, yes, meron. Lazada? Ah, meron. Available siya sa website natin. Okay, sa website. Kite.org. Kite.org. Org. Yes. So, K-Y-T-H-E dot yeah. org. Yeah. In lieu of gift, parang kunyari, bibigyan kita, Pastor Dennis. Mm. And oh, wala na maisip. Ah. Oo, oh, wala na maisip eh. <laughs> Kaya, <laughs> through this card sa mga, kunyari, bumili ka a pack of four. It's just 1,000 pesos. Okay. Pero in bis na cash yun iyan, no? diba? yung 1,000 pesos na yun. per card na to pag binigay ko under your name uh, ikaw na lalabas na nag-donate sa kite mm. so parang lalabas siya sa website na Pastor Dennis nag-donate 
Yun, nasa list siya ng donation. Parang in lieu so, of... donation it, ko is 250 pesos. Yes, parang, parang uh, hindi na namin ispes by amount. Ah, basta nandiyan na, na yung donor. Na, oh, oh, parang ganun. Hindi nila alam kung 250 or yes, 1 million. Yes, okay. tama. Ay, oh. Gusto ko yan. Gusto ko yan, di ba? Kasi parang minsan kasi, di ba, Christmas season naman siya. So, uh, like this card. Uh, this Sino was, paint this was mga... painted by our survivor. Oh, okay. Si, oh, this one was painted by our survivor din. Tapos, may mga pictures ng, sa events natin. Okay. Yan. Tapos, these are uh, kite y- yan kids. Yung, yan Mosaic yung mo- mga kite mo- kids. Uh, tagline nyo. Tagline na happiness. Making We room making for room for happiness. happiness. Yes. Parang lahat ng problema ko ngayon, first world problems na. Ah, well, kausap oh. lang kita. <laughs> Parang kailangan kita kausap araw-araw. Oh, para ano, no? no para dapat kausap, wala na akong problema. Dapat kausapin natin ha? mga bata. Yeah. Pareho tayong boat na i-inspire doon sa yes. mga kids. Oh, so, thank you so much. Alam mo yung tinanong ko sa'yo kanina, parang may sagot na ako. Yung, di ba, when people ask us, where is God mm. in this suffering? I think we see God in you. We see God in a lot of the volunteers of Kai. Yes. Yung see, heart, iba. Oh, parang, di ba, minsan pag tanongin mo, may cancer tong bata. Bakit may cancer? Nasaan si Lord? Mm. Tapos makita mo, may tumutulong na hindi. Yes, na parang, na, hindi bakit kit- siya hindi nagka-question? Bakit ako, ang dami kong tanong, tapos wala mong ginagawa? <laughs> Oo, oh, tapos, yung mga tumutulong, di ba? Siguro, tanong nga nila, ba't ba ako tinutulungan? Yes. Hindi mo naman ako kilala. And I think this is uh, one of those ways where we become the hands and feet of Jesus. Alright, so everyone, please support Guide Foundation. We'll uh, put a link yes, kung saan please. kayo pwede mag-donate. Now, sa mga nag-iipon po ng mga pang-birthday gift, Christmas gift, meron po tayong Caps of Courage, Courage yes. We have uh, that Christmas goes cards. to the aftercare program. Tama? Survivor? Survivor uh, for the ano, uh, fair and the uh, okay. I mean, milk program. So, sa Kite Foundation, sa lahat, lahat yan, ng proceeds, sa pati itong mga cards, 1,000 lang, apat 1, na. 1,000 apat na yun. So, para ka na rin nag-donate. Yes. In lieu of in gifts. In lieu of gifts. Uh, parang ma-share mo rin yung advocacy natin. Oo, oh, hindi mo na kailangan yung bagong iPhone. Ilang cards na lang, no? Bigay Imagine mo. mo yung iPhone na yun. Pwede na tayo mag pa hospital for a week. <laughs> oh. Sa mahal na iPhone. Grabe, no? Oo. Oh. <laughs> so, I think this uh, brings us back to uh, kamusta ba tayo pagdating sa mga resources na binibigay din sa atin Lord whether it's our money it's our time and I think William has modeled that to us he uses his business he uses his uh, business connection he uses his time to help cancer kids people that he na hindi niya po kilala no? so that they could at least even have an hour of happiness aftercare programs and uh, to help them survive the the world of cancer. Yes. No? And, yes. You can also check yung mga videos natin sa YouTube ng mga summer camp nila. Okay. Uh, seeing how happy yung mga kids considering na yung tanning sa kanila. Yes. So, kung gusto nyo pong tumulong, go there, go to me, para, I'll point you guys to William and the Kite Foundation. Yes. Right. So, thank you very much, William, for what you thank do. Thank you very much, uh, for Sobrang salamat talaga. No. In behalf of all parents with cancer yes. kids, no, uh, really thankful uh, Thank for you. what you do, and I do hope we all join into making a difference in this world. I think ang measurement ng isang tunay na lalaki hindi siya consumer kung di uh, tumutulong siya. No, he's creating opportunities for people like for you. You created opportunities yes. for happiness and to let cancer kids survive longer and have a good quality life. No, Pang so may happiness lang. Yes. So, please, again, if this video has helped you, uh, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button and also please click the notification bell for new videos that we upload every week. And uh, also, bago ko makalimutan, uh, I'd also like to uh, promote my new book, Giants for Breakfast. Okay, lagay na natin. Na, lahat ng October sales sa Kite Foundation Yan. pupunta. Thank you. All right. Uh, so, Please buy at Shopee or Lazada para matrace ko lahat ng October sales. Let it go to our cancer kids para makatulong din sa kanila. Uh, this is only 150 pesos and uh, I do hope uh, madami mabenta kasi madami akong pinaprint. Yes. Okay, so, <laughs> thank you so much thank everyone much. and thank you William and to everybody out there, act like a man. Follow Dennis C. on Instagram and Twitter at Dennis C. That's at D-E-N-N-I-S S-I-A-S-Y. 